Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Chutwani once again from learnhypermission.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about again a very frequently asked question: Should we use Postman or should we use some predefined libraries? Like in Java, we have uh, Rest Assured, we also have Karate, we have Catalan, or you know any other library that you want to use with your programming language. Let's say if you are working with Python, then you have a request module, right? And if you go with JavaScript background again, we have a different library. So the now question is, should we use only Postman or should we use all these libraries that is available? So now let me talk about some of the I will say pros and cons. Okay, then you will get to know that you know why we should go for this or uh, to be more precise, I will say when to go for Postman and when to go with these libraries which is available in the market. So now if you have been using Postman, then you must be familiar with the Postman UI, right? So Postman is quite easy to use. It's like a tool that is available that you need to install just like an exe file. So it's very easy to use. Okay, you will get a proper UI where you will get drop downs like which, you know, which kind of method you want to call get post, put pad delete. You can simply put the URL. You can give a payload authentications, all the header information. You can simply directly fill and you can start uh, doing the API testing, right? It's quite easy to use. Even a fresher or even a non-technical guy can start using Postman, right? And if you also see Postman have very good features like you can store all these, you know, your key value pairs in environment, you can have multiple environments and you can run them uh, as a collection as well, right? You can also create some sort of dependency between the test. You can also have some test. All these features are completely fine, okay? But uh, what if you have to do end-to-end -end testing, okay? Then here comes the main part, okay? So let's say you have one application which includes some sort of web automation then api automation then again you have to test some db conditions you need to verify and finally your test will be completed right in that case postman will not be that uh, that useful for you right because postman has a different i will say it's a different tool right you will have all the apis in terms of collection that you need to run separately so if you still want to do it like you have to use some kind of ci tool or uh, you have to use some kind of different tools which will integrate all your tests Right? First it will run your web test, then it will run your postman collection, then it will go with the further database related testing and then you will be getting your final result. But postman have some I will say restrictions. Okay, So let me point out that. But again, uh, this is my observation. If you have a different observations or if you have different opinion, I'm just sharing my experience. So in case if you have felt the same, let me know in the comment section. But if you have different opinion that also completely fine, still let me know in the comment section. Now. I'm not sure whether you know about this, but Postman have two versions. Okay, one is paid and one is community. The one which you have seen so far, it's community one, right? All the features are free. But when you go for a, you know, enterprise or when you say a large number of tests, then the Postman also have the different pricing, right? So if you go to the homepage, they have listed all the pricing. So if I'm not wrong, they have free team, business and enterprise. So they have different pricings for different requirement. Now let me talk about something uh, related to what I have observed so far. There's no framework support, right? So basically in Postman, you can create multiple requests, environments, collection, and they're done. But there's no framework, right? What if I have to create some sort of utility that is not supported? So basically, I want to see the code duplication, right? So let's say I want to reuse something that is not possible as of now. Now, if you talk about the reporting, so definitely we have a new man, right? So that will give you the HTML report. And you can use something called extra reporter in Postman, which will give you again a very good report. But what if I want to use some extent report, a lower report, or some other report which we have developed that's not supported as of now? It, it can be done, but you have to do a lot of work around for that, right? Now, again, one more scenario let's say you have a complete test suite, okay, some data is coming from the web that you want to consume in your API and once you're done the same response you validate in the DB. Now when it comes to this part, Postman will not be the good fit for you because when you go with these libraries, let's say rest assured or any other libraries, you have end-to-end -end control for that. So you can get the request, you know, get the response, you can use this response for uh, any other, you know, integration or if you want to validate against DB, you can do that. That's not available right now with Postman. Now, when we work with end-to-end -end automation, then we have the different type of data, right? So sometimes we have Excel file, CSV file, JSON file, XML file. But right now, if you if you have used Postman, then we have something called data variables, right? So you can basically take the data from CSV format or in the JSON format and you can use it. But what if you have the different format? In that case, rest assured or other libraries will be the perfect fit. 
Now, most important part in automation is like parallel execution, right? So let's say if you have hundreds of API, let's say thousands of API and what if you want to test them in parallel mode? So again, when you go with rest assured or these libraries, you can achieve parallel mode easily. But when it comes to Postman, we don't have much support of parallel execution, right? So you will see some, uh, if you have a bigger test suite, it will take longer time as compared to these libraries. So based on these points, you have to decide when to go for Postman and when to go for rest assured. Uh, again, a very important point, which I have noted, like Postman uses JavaScript, right? So let's say your team is well versed with Java or maybe they are very good in Python. And if you want to play with uh, Postman, then you need only JavaScript. So if your team is not comfortable with JavaScript, then yes, it will be a little challenge for, you know, a few other resources. First, they have to learn JavaScript and then they can customize. So I'm not saying that they have to be expert in JavaScript, but yes, if they have to write certain assertions, then it would be good if they know certain, uh, you know, some concepts of JavaScript so that they can verify the responses in a more better way. So what's the conclusion now? See guys, there's no conclusion as such. You have to see uh, what kind of project you have. So in simple word, if you have a small project or medium project, even for the larger project, if you have independent APIs, okay, and you don't want to achieve parallel execution, you don't have big a larger payload plus you don't have any third verification you can go with postman but if you have to do end-to-end -end testing and you need to play with the responses you want to pass the responses to different apis different i will say uh, web test or you want to weld it against the db go with these libraries again this is just my uh, points but uh, you need to decide which tool will be perfect for you so that's all from my side guys in case uh, you want to add any point feel free to add in the comment section and in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel share with the friends and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye